Hello, I want to welcome you to the Keyence Vision System training course. Today, what I want to share with you is the project that we're going to work with. Okay, I want to lay it out for you and exactly what we were going to cover. And it's going to be a couple of pieces in, that we're going to cover. We're going to cover, talk a little bit about the software and how we're going to, we'll do a tiny little test on that, on our project to kind of give you an example of what, what you will be able to see. What can the vision system do? All right. We're going to talk about the, the test, the actual live benchtop test that we're going to do. We'll show you what we're doing and why it's important. Then we're going to talk a little bit about the PLC side of it and um, some of the components. In this course, you're going to write an entire PLC program. You'll be able to test your project. You'll be able to answer, but we'll be able to answer questions about a real life um example in our project all right so stay stay with me all right so here's our project okay an example of our project so what we have is a um secondary machine so primary uh part uh, the primary machine will be the mold injection machine and then this one actually includes it installs clips and does an inspection so it's a clip and inspection machine on this machine, we, we can run three or four different types. You, well, you can run more than that, but the, this, this project, we ran four different types of um, four different types of parts, four different colored parts. They're all the same shape. They were just four different parts. These are parts that went into the interior of an automobile, right, to a vehicle. Okay, so let's look at this here. So what we have in, in this project is we have some cameras and that's our our focus the cameras that's our vision system so we're going to go ahead and we're going to hide this right and now here's our keen's camera right here this is what we're our, what it's all about right here this keen's cameras number one goal is to inspect the color all right so if we if we cycle this machine we're going to have a part in there and it will get clipped and clamped and part marked and everything and then it'll be done but before we can uh, run this uh, part we have to have the color verified and the camera's job is to is to verify the color so let's go back we'll <clears throat> hide this here now obviously this is a a can be a simple yet complex project it is very simple but it, it ha can be very challenging all right uh, and what i mean by that is we have to be able to install it we have to be able to uh, set up the project in the uh, camera software we have to be able to build the plc program we have to be able to test that and we have to do it with four different colors so as you can see it can be very challenging so um the part that i removed actually our head was was just a bracket that the camera mounted to okay so it's just a just a kids uh camera the same exact camera that we're going to use in our project okay so that's actually going to be very helpful so you're going to get a real life example now we i personally uh worked on this machine and uh, so I know that this is a real machine in in use today. So you're gonna get some real world project experience in with the vision system here. Okay, so that's our that's our basic project, right? The scope, the the overview of our project. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the project. So right here, I've got it in run, right? And you'll notice over here, pay attention to the outline. In the color area okay so here is a manual trigger so what I'm gonna be doing is bouncing between the desk and the and the and the uh, workbench to where I have the camera set up and um, we're going to be testing this very uh, project so this has a very basic project um, already set up and you'll learn how to do this later on in other videos but right here it's project p03 colon PROG underscore zero three. That's our project. So we pulled that up. Now I can set up all kinds of different projects and call up different projects. Okay. And that, that goes, that 
plays right into the multiple different colors. Um, and every every color would have to be a, a different project. So very important to understand that distinction. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and manually trigger this. And what we see is we have a 94 on the outline and an 82 on the color area. So the boxes, each box does one of each of these items. So it inspects for the outline, inspects for the uh, color. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change what we have here is just a yellow wire nut. I'm going to change the wire nut color and show you why this is a valuable tool. Okay, hopefully it didn't take too long. And, oh, so now we have red. I put in an orange wire nut, and both the shape and color do not match what program three, which, as you'll notice, it right here is yellow, is programmed for so we got a 55 in shape so it's kind of close but it's zero in color we'll do this test one more time with a blue wire nut all right sorry about that i dropped <laughs> the wire nut and again, we have zero and zero, not even close to the shape, not even close to the color. Okay, so now this is this is uh, basically our test. Let's go back to the, the our basic inspection. Let's go back to the yellow wire nut. <clears throat> All right. Nope. Excuse me. Right there. We want three. All right. And all right. So we put the yellow in. We have the correct shape and the correct color. We have a 90% accuracy and 89% accuracy. This is a good part. Okay. So that's the inside of the software that you're going to learn how to program and configure. Okay. Very, very cool stuff. All right. So now what we need to do is pull up our our PLC program. Um, let's dump that out of the way and let's get this neat little booger in here. And okay, so now on the PLC side, you'll notice that we have a routine, subroutine here, uh, Kians IV1, right? And let's back, oh, oh, let's go in a little. Okay, so what we have in our POC program is we have four different colors we can choose from one two three four and it will be numbered the program will be numbered destination for the program is two all right so it'll just tell us what program we want to run it's a zero program zero one two or three right then what we're going to do is we're going to have our entire program we're going to write this in here and it will it will uh, send the signal when we have the correct color all right, and it will um, then clear the buffer for any um, any messages. All right, so we're going to send uh, information back and forth, and you will get a a good or bad uh, signal if you have the correct part. So we're going to build this whole program um, so that you will be able to see exactly how to write a program. Um, for your Kians camera. All right, so that is the overview of the project uh, that we're gonna work on. I'm kind of excited to share this with you. It's, I've done bits and pieces of it. If you have any questions, just uh, email me, let me know, and uh, I will uh, get back to you about, uh, with an answer as soon as I can. Just take this project, go one step at a time, and you cannot fail, all right? So this is our project, I look forward to sharing the next step with you. All right, so next time, this is Paul.